She's feeling less exhausted, so has been prescribed a therapy proven to help with side effects. Exercise. I can't. Now the other way. Well, exercise medicine is prescribed like a pill for any uh, medical condition. And the chemotherapies, what cycle are you up to now? I'm about to do cycle four. So on those yes. really bad days, you're probably not thinking about doing anything other than staying on the couch, right? Yeah. Catch sounds pretty good. And it's Blanket really sounds hard. good. Yes. When a person is fatigued from chemotherapy, radiation therapy, the body is saying, curl up in a heap, stay on the couch, don't go anywhere. And the fatigue does not improve. So the evidence tells us that exercise is one of the top interventions to reduce cancer-related fatigue. It's not relieved by rest or sleeping. It's a little bit strange <laughs> that you're using a bike. That's where it needs to be. OK, yeah. so just start it. We do know that when people are able to exercise, they can cope with their symptoms much better. OK. They can tolerate the chemotherapy over time. If they have more muscle or they retain their muscle, they're able to reduce the chemotherapy toxicity. Wow, working hard. <laughs> I'm feeling like I'm literally waking up my back you do. right now. It feels like there's rocks falling off that have been here oh, for months. So. I love hearing that. Yeah. Yep. There are metabolic reasons why you might have an immune system which works better from exercise. Um, you might use up some of the growth factors that help a cancer cell to grow. Oh, you really like this. Yeah, I like it. <laughs> You're crazy. <laughs> That's good. So just go easy now, because you've done so much, you've gone wild. <laughs> <laughs> Let the girl loose. <laughs> I want you to put that under your feet. So do a little <laughs> loop in your hands. Yep. Is that OK? Yep. And Straighten your hands, straighten your elbows, yep, all the way down. It's a very interesting <laughs> version of straight. <laughs> I, do you know my brain is just not making sense yeah, to me? It's it not talking here. to the rest yeah. of me today. Okay, so elbow straight, and I want you to stand up and then slowly go down. Okay, that's one. What do you think? Hard? Yeah. Okay. That's hard work. Hurting? No. Just loss of you. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. The, it is, yeah. Yeah. I experienced a shock without really knowing what it was. So, and oh, I went sense. into that day having been through a week of really coming to terms with everything that was happening mentally and emotionally and feeling incredibly broken. Let me give you plan B. Okay. Okay. Plan B would be good. Yes. Okay. It's gonna be I'm sorry, sometimes I feel like I don't hear your whole sentence and that I can't oh. quite capture what you're talking about. I don't, it's, it's the fuzz oh, in my okay. head. Yeah. I can be having a conversation with someone and I feel like someone has literally come up to the back of my head and unplugged it and all of a sudden I don't know what they've just said. I know that my hair will grow back but I don't know if my brain capacity will actually come back. It gets harder every single day to be positive. It gets harder to recognise that Every single day is a fight. That cancer is a full-time job. <laughs> <laughs>